Hello! In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how HomerGrid optimization software can model a combined heat and power system to take advantage of waste heat from a generator by using it to serve a thermal load. HomerGrid's main value proposition is reducing utility charges by using solar and storage to shift and smooth peak utility usage to times when rates are lower. Demand charges are based on the maximum load, typically for just 15 minutes. Time of use rates provide less expensive electricity at certain times. Solar and storage together can reduce both these rates. In addition to reducing utility charges, HomerGrid can model EV charging infrastructure loads, design for resiliency during outages, and model combined heat and power. Combined heat and power, also known as cogeneration, uses a single generator to serve both an electric load and a thermal load. Following Superstorm Sandy, many hospitals in the New York region implemented combined heat and power as a way to mitigate demand charges and increase resilience. This demonstration will show the economic benefit to a combined heat and power reciprocating generator during normal conditions. If you're new to Homer Grid, I recommend that you first watch the video on demand charge reduction, where I walk more slowly through setting up a Homer project file. You can find that video on the Homer Grid webpage or at homerenergy.com slash dcr demo. We're going to move through project setup very quickly in this video so we can focus on the combined heat and power modeling capabilities. We'll start by setting up the project basics. This is a hospital in Queens, New York. Then we'll add a load profile using the OpenEI database. I select a hospital in New York LaGuardia. This modeled load has a peak of 1600 kilowatts and an average daily load of 28,000 kilowatt hours. Now I'll add a tariff using the Genability database. This region is served by Con Edison, which is a deregulated utility that charges for transmission and distribution and then another company charges for supply. So I select No to this choice regarding generation and distribution, find the tariff that I need, which is the general extra large time of day hourly. Then I need to add a generation rate and 12 cents per kilowatt hour is the average for this area. So I'll use that and then I'll select the high tension service. Let's take a look at the utility bill based on this tariff by clicking on Tariff Bill and then Visualize Bill and Tariff. This site is paying a lot for demand charges, shown in the darker blue, and we can see the details of this under the Monthly Summary tab. Demand charges in July and August are particularly high due to air conditioning. At the heart of a CHP system is a reciprocating generator. So we'll select a generic size your own reciprocating generator with CHP. Homer has a default cost of $1,500 for this generator, but we'll update that to $3,000, which is the average installed cost for a new system in this region. Much of the initial cost is installation, so we'll leave the replacement at $750, and this cost is per kilowatt. Our peak load is 1,600 kilowatts, so that's the largest possible size. I'll have Homer model sizes between 200 and 1600 kilowatts in 200 kilowatt increments. Homer will now simulate systems for each of these sizes. Now we need to add a thermal load that will be served in part by our reciprocating generator. Thermal load is a demand for heat energy and Homer offers the same options for thermal loads as for electric loads. You can import load data, use the OpenEI database, or choose a synthetic load profile. We'll use OpenEI and again select Hospital in LaGuardia like we did for the electric load. This thermal load averages 11,600 kilowatt hours per day. Whenever you add a thermal load, Homer assumes that the system has a boiler. So we'll add that and we'll just use the generic boiler that Homer provides. There is also an option in the CHP section to use electric heat, but we don't want that for this example. Here's the system we're about to model. We have a primary load with 27,600 kilowatt hours per day and a peak of 1,600 kilowatts, the EL9 utility tariff, 
a reciprocating gas generator, a thermal load, and a boiler. So now let's look at the results. The first thing to note is that the CHP system with the reciprocating generator is the best system economically. The 800 kilowatt generator was the winning system. It had the lowest overall net cost. This project has an internal rate of return of 15%, an 11% return on investment, and a simple payback of seven years. The levelized cost of energy for the CHP system is 15.5 cents per kilowatt hour versus 17.2 cents for the base case system. This is a very compelling result with a strong economic basis. Let's move to the tabular results and click on Overall to see all the systems that Homer simulated. The utility-only system was more costly than almost all the CHP systems. Only the 1600 kilowatt genset was a more expensive system. The three most economically optimal systems have 800, 600, and 1000 kilowatt generators. And since we only looked at these 200 kilowatt incremental sizes, it's possible that we miss the best system. So let's try some other sizes. We click on Design Generator. Since the winning system was 800 kilowatts, which outperformed both 600 and 1000, we'll explore sizes between 650 and 950 kilowatts in 50 kilowatt increments and then select Recalculate Results. The winning system is now 850 kilowatts, so now we're probably very close to the right sizing. The internal rate of return and return on investment are similar to before, but the overall savings has increased. If I look more deeply at the winning system and then go over to the Utility tab, I can see the differences between the base case on the left and the system with CHP on the right. The total utility savings is over $1.2 million per year. I'm spending money on fuel, which I can find here in the Cost Summary tab. If I change this to Annualized, I see that my fuel cost is about $600,000 per year but the overall system is saving about $1 million per year in energy costs overall. Some good next steps for this project would be to use measured load data to improve accuracy, add incentives, work with a local dealership to determine what genset sizes are available and what their true costs are. You could also explore creating a hybrid system by adding PV. Thanks for watching this demonstration for how Homer Grid can optimize combined heat and power systems and save you and your clients money. You can get a no obligation trial for Homer Grid by visiting homerenergy.com slash trygrid. I also hope you'll explore everything else that Homer Grid can do for you and stay in touch with us as you explore Homer Grid during the trial process.